Chris Jr. I'm out here working in the garage tonight. Um, I'm going to work on a turbo log build a little bit and uh, show you guys how to trim the pipes up for that now that I've got to work on myself. Uh, well, let me just show you. Obviously, I cut one too short. Um, this is not final. I just wanted to get an idea. It's kind of hard for me to tack it myself. You know, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's going way kitty wampus. This, this should be way further down, but it's good enough for me to see how it's going to fit and how I want it. Um, you can see here, I have a big gap. I'm going to have to replace this pipe, which I have the replacement for it. And then this whole thing needs to go towards the engine more. But it does give me an, an opportunity to see uh, exactly how I want this. Um, and maybe help me fit up the rest of the pipes a little bit. I got my short radius here which is going to be this last runner as soon as I get this finalized. Uh, I'm a little concerned about how I'm going to fit this up, and I think that the way that I might do it, I might just drill a hole through here and grind it out and fit my pipe in like that, my final runner. Um, this is going to take some trickery for sure. This whole thing needs to come a lot further forward than it is. But uh, let me show you how to cut the weld L's the way you want them. First, we'll start there and uh, move forward. The reason that I was having a hard time, that, that I was having a hard time visualizing how to cut those, and, and I kept just cutting it, whoops, I kept cutting it, you know, straight across. Do, do, do which, you know, it needs to be clocked. Um, and I was having a hard time visualizing how I wanted to do that until I brought my vice out. and That makes it pretty easy. Um, so what I want to do is cut this straight off. That way it'll match over there, more like this one, because obviously this one's too short. So that's the way to go not the way i've been doing it um and then from there you can go in and actually cut that to match the radius or whatever but this is the first step to get it close and just so you know this totally messes with my uh grinder wheels my cutoff wheels, they really don't like to take these kind of cuts. It's a pretty heavy wall cutoff, so. Let me get this cut down and uh, we'll go from there. That's not perfect, but I'm willing to bet that it's close. Yeah, see how much dust comes out of them like that? So, yeah, you get the idea. You just got to keep going at it. Um, I've already cut these, so I kind of have to make this one match. Um, we'll just go from, keep on working at it. Actually, maybe I'll cut these two off and make this one the last one because it's got further to go. I may put this one in this position, move this one here, and leave that one there. Uh, let me work at it for a minute here. See what we come up with. Oh, 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 oh,
the best part about working with metal like if you don't like what you did and you did some bullshit or you know you're not proud of it or it's less than perfect you grind it off and start over no big deal I mean you really can't do this just cut it off start over cut it off start over it's cheap to learn it's cheap to experiment once you have a welder and a grinder you can make a rocket That's Egon Musk. I want to make sure that these are the same height because these are going in the middle now that I changed my mind um, these are gonna go in the middle so they should be the same height so that they hit the pipe at the same time because the pipes not doing anything right there but passing by So these two are my middle two, and they should be the same height, but clearly they are not. So I'm going to buzz a little bit more off this one. Um, I'm going to take these to work tomorrow, all three of these, and peg them to the manifold and do my final fitting that way. And figure out what I want to do with this afterwards. 
so this is going to be a multi-part deal. But uh, I'm going to clean this flange up real quick, and then I'm going to buzz that other one down so they're the same size, and we'll move on to uh, other stuff. The wall. When you want grinder wheels, it won't take your face off. There are some things. The Harbor Freight wheels just tend to explode in my face, and I don't really like it. So I'll reuse head bolts, but I'm not using Harbor Freight grind cutoff wheels. Boom, shakalaka. I should have made plenty of awesome uh, Discovery Channel sparks for your uh, viewing enjoyment as well. You know, you watch uh, these stupid reality shows, fast and loud and whatnot. They've always got sparks going for no good reason. So, there's some sparks for you. All right, there we go. There's the whole deal. Oh, nope, that's not going to stay up there. That pipe's going to have to be cut a lot shorter. But these two are where I need them to be. Um, I'll take this to work tomorrow and pig weld these up. And cut this right now. It's going to be a lot easier to cut. Off. Oops. Wouldn't want you to miss out on your spark show. that like that let me pull this back I'm gonna take this to work tomorrow and I'm going to final weld these pipes these weld L's to my flange and I'll continue fitting from there um, I'm pretty happy with where that's at right now and I think I can continue fitting from there what my my plan is ultimately to mark my spots where my pipes hit drill them and grind them out until they fit so or maybe use this but it's kind of obvious that it's not going to fit now it might help to get them going though and then of course on this side I don't really know what to do there either. Let's see how this hole saw works. Maybe it works better than I think it does. I'm willing to bet that it works exactly as good as I think it does though, which is not very. Alright, that's pretty much it for today. It's just grinding and fitting and welding. It'd be nice if the TIG was here so I could find a weld it right now while I have my beer and I'm relaxed, but that's not the case. So just keep whittling away at it till you get it where you want it and then that's really it. <laughs> I mean, like I, I had to throw a pipe away. It cost me six bucks, whatever, you know, bummer, but yeah, I just redid it. No big deal. So, I'll take this into work tomorrow. Weld the three tubes up to the flange, at least. And uh, we'll, I'll weld this too. I'm going to weld this complete. Um, and from there, 
I'll be able to fit the log itself to the manifold and uh, fit my little stubby pipe up here so that I can fit my turbo flange. Uh, just keep working at it and uh, keep watching. And don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do it because you can. It's just time. It's just metal. Grind it off. Cut it off. Redo it. It's not a big deal. Drill it out. Throw it away. I mean, for what they want for, you know, a uh, pre-cut one, I can throw a lot of these weld L's away and learn myself. And I like to make stuff. So I hope you do too. And thanks for watching. Till next time, this is JR. We'll see ya.